Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to troubleshooting video number one for the Amazon Fire Stick. This video is going to go over doing maintenance as opposed to troubleshooting for the Amazon Fire Stick. Uh, actually, what that basically means is that this is something that we are going to ask that you do at least if you're using the stick a lot uh, every day, like most people do, uh, do this at least once a week. Uh, if you're not using it too much, just sporadically, you would want to do this then probably at least once every two weeks, okay? And just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, let's go over to the first thing you're going to do uh, once a week or once every two weeks is you are going to go over to settings. You are going to go over to applications. You are going to go over to manage installed applications. You are going to go down, you're going to find Cody. And actually this is perfect. If we click into Cody right now, you can see here that there are uh, on the uh, the left hand side, I'm sorry, the right hand side from what you were looking at, uh, you can see where it says version, size, storage, and cache, okay? Right now, the cache is at 66.33 megabytes, all right? That is too much, okay? That is now what we would consider to be a full cache, okay? What happens when you have a full cache is that the add-ons will run slower, movies could potentially run slower, everything will slow down, and your the Station X software will not be operating optimally, okay? The reason for this is because what the way that the Kodi software works and the way that the Station X software works is that as you start to play a movie, what the, the software does and what Kodi does is it actually captures or stores some of that initial movie in order to start you sh the content streaming, okay? So it will actually download a portion of that movie or of that TV show or whatever you're watching to the actual stick and to the software and to Kodi, and then it will display that to catch up and let it let it continue to stream continuously okay that's the way that it works all right so as you are streaming more movies and as you're streaming more tv shows and stuff that cache eventually gets filled up until there'll be no more memory left to run the software correctly and that's when you start to get problems okay so if you do happen to see that you're having issues, movies aren't playing right, uh, Exodus is taking forever to load, Specto is taking forever to load, everything is going slowly, You should. the first thing you want to do is come here to the cache and clear this, okay? And that's why we're saying, that's why we said initially, you want to do this like once a week, just get in the habit of doing it so everything continues to function smoothly for you, okay? So we see here the cache right now is at 66.33. I want to show you very quickly too, when you're in this menu, uh, when you're in the Kodi menu, you go to Applications, you come here, there are things that you do not want to do, okay, that you cannot do, and please do not do these things that I'm going to mention, okay? Uh, we don't want to launch the application, that's not, it won't be a problem if you did, but we don't want to do that right now. Don't ever push Force Stop, that could very easily screw things up. Uninstall, do not ever uninstall Kodi, very, very, very important, okay? Kodi is the underlying software that Station X software works with. And if Cody is gone, so is Station X. And we have no way of putting that back onto your uh, Fire Stick remotely at that point. You would have to mail it back to us and pay a full reprogramming fee because we'd have to physically have the stick here to put Cody back onto it and the software back onto it, okay? Clear data. Do not ever clear data. Clearing data would clear the Station X software off of Cody. And again, major problem. Okay, so please do not do those things when you're in this menu, okay? You, what you do want to do is come here to clear cache. You click that once, and if you look again on the right-hand side, it says cache is now at 12.0 kilobytes, which is perfect. That's exactly where you want it to be. That's as low as it can go, okay? That means it's basically cleared, all right? And if you perform that very simple operation, like I said, once a week, if you're using it a lot, once every two weeks, if you're not, if you keep up with that, you should, have, you should not have any problem with the software. Everything will be running optimally and functioning properly for you, and you won't have an issue, okay? All right, so let's move on.